Hello, and welcome to the finals of Division 3 in Steel Division 2 here. Mila May versus Samu Yen, as everyone knows, here on Orsha East today. And uh, Mila May has the arguably good side, one of the most cheesable, really, locations here with the Nib of F41. Uh, and he is playing 78 Storm. These RSO munitions, very funny units there. First Polish on the side for Hamuya, also a very strong division, and hopefully his uh, fast units will enable him to outpace Melee Me here. But with the nib of F a start, I would imagine that's going to be aimed right here. Uh, I would imagine <laughs> that Melee Me would push very heavily here, though with a, just a couple of units, I'm not sure if that's really the case. One Sturmschützen. Uh, and yeah. So, down in the south, by New Field, Panzerschreck, Sturmschützen, Schützen. Two flamethrowers, Brigadite, Pioneer, and half tracks, two of them actually. And a T26. They have Alpha 41 as well. <laughs> Cheesy start there. Sturmschützen, Flammenwerfer, MG42, Schützen, and a Panzerschreck in the, going in the center. Flammenwerfer, two Sturmschützen, and another Schützen. Likely for these flag, they're split up between these two. And then Stug 3, Schützen, Sturmschützen, and MG42 for the very far north. On the side of the Polish player here, it is Maverick versus Maverick. PTRS, two Sorka FM, Dushka Carrier, three more PTRSs. Uh, Bren, uh, Maxim, not Bren, uh, Leader, Zis 3, Odzokarni, two of them, and another Dushka Carrier, PTRS, two Flamethrowers, another Maxim, Stark LKM, M42, and a Tisanko Gobi, two more Maxims, PTRS, uh, two more Aftomachikis there, or not an Aftos, the Tanko Desaniki, <laughs> the Polish version of the Tankos, two OB guns, Flamer, T34, and another Odzokarni, so... Nibbeth already firing. It's actually firing over here. Uh, this is not timed very well, I will say. <laughs> Absolutely no damage whatsoever. He has brought it in the RSO mun munitions, so plenty of uh, supply for that. But the PTRS doesn't manage to get a kill. Flamethrowers have smoked it off as well, so the Begite Pioneers are going to get in position. One of the straw cams unloaded. Not sure if that was a misclick there, but the other one is going to make it into position. Not very much being positioned here. Instead, choosing to go very far north. PTRS did get a kill on one of these units. MG42 is also going to be false to fall back. Did manage to PTRS this unit as well. These two, actually. And has been taking control here. But this flag staying in the control of Millimay for the time being. And also having pushed well into this position with the Sturmschützen here. No PTRS memory happening there. PTRS to, to get a shot onto the 251, but the Glide Pioneers are going to get into position. And the T26s as well. All these units coming in. Also, Carney coming in as reinforcement. Together with a leader. Lots of also Carney. Another Maxim coming in as well. I would uh, choose to reinforce this middle area as these uh, units getting into position here are is a bit more dangerous, I think. But down south here, losing the town. Very dangerous as well, or losing this little forest here. I recently lost a game specifically because I had lost control over this forest, right? It doesn't matter that uh, balance versus balance the game was. If you winning everyone map, this is this was hampering me from getting a 59, and uh, yeah, just uh, enabled my opponent to get back just long enough for me to run out of infantry. But that's neither here nor there. We're here to talk about the final, and Mili May potentially being a bit. Uh, Overconfident, I would say, in the way he was connecting himself on the Discord, but impressive showing nonetheless with the win with the uh, Juggernaut early in the series. We'll have to see if Hamuyan can pull another victory here. Aldzakarni getting pinned down very quickly. Dual Shitsen, 14 man squads, MG42s. Very, very dangerous there. Sake so, okay, do go down to the flamethrower and the Glide Pioneer and the Storm Shitsen here. And this is going to be a very good position for Milame. The two Alds of Carney likely not going to be enough to deal with this uh, E26 here. As the leader as well starts getting pinned down. Three Star Maxim. They managed to pin down the Schutzen here, and the PTRS is uh, actually remaining unspotted, so potentially might get some cheeky, more cheeky snipes there. But the Nibavefa is firing again. This time to the north, hoping to take out a lot of these support weapons here. There's this three and the OBs, but uh, the Nibu Epic gets less accurate the longer it fires, like most artillery, and it's just very hard to uh, get back in that position. But with the M3A1 firing, Shitsen is going to be forced to fall back there. 
relatively quickly. Dushka Carrier as well. If this doesn't get Panzer Strike, then it's also Kearney. And this Dushka Carrier is just going to pin down the Shobjitsen super quickly. Also Kearney, not terrible at that medium range as well. So even with the disparity there, help with Dushka Carrier. Another flag goes over to Hamuyan. Nibu have a fire. Extremely one position there. Wonder if that was just the uh, luck of the dice rolled. <laughs> but certainly missed what he wanted to be shooting at. AA finally coming out here. Also, Carney have been pushed off here. And the Black Pioneers. Not quite in position to take advantage of that, but if these Black Pioneers were, then it'd be very dangerous. Still, shits and get on target. He's also carting around a bit, get pinned down very quickly with the cover disparity there. And be forced to fall back. T34 coming in. There's a Panzer Strike here, though. So as long as this T's, uh, T26 doesn't directly take an engagement, that Panzer Strike will be able to deal with that T34, no problem. IL-2 coming in for the Schutzen, trying to save these also Carney. Uh, another Schutzen gets in here, but once again, not microed out of the house for the Panzer Faust there. And uh, it's likely going to get pinned down as well. So Schutzen did retreat, though. Didn't manage to get that surrendered. He's got a micro out of the house now. The Stug did go down here. What did it do? Is this is three. Unknown. In a commanding position in the north here. But the situation is much the same. Very weak position here in the center. Poor Hamuyan. And Milime has taken down this southern position as well. Lots of strike moving forward. Uh, it might find that T34. I somehow doubt that though. And the IL 2 here is uh, trying to de deal with the B of 109. Not gonna have the accuracy for that, but the BF109 is never gonna be able to shoot down an IL-2. It uh, re would require much longer than the IL-2 really has here. Shitson do manage to get the pin down on the looter here. Another Shitson coming in. Oh, PTRS did see that for just a second, but didn't manage to get a shot on. MG42 also managed to get this maximum gun here, and now it's multiple Schutzen versus a single Maxim. Maxim is triple starred, and these units are not in cover, but as long as it's shooting at the these Schutzen and not these Schutzen first, it's uh, still relatively dangerous. Surprised we haven't seen more aggressive play with these uh, F3A1s. Could almost push all these units out and temporarily gain another flag, which would force a lot of investment for Amelia May in the north, which, which might give potentially time to finish off these units down south, or to, to get a position at least back in with now three deaths on Kogobis here. Trying to make their way in. 37mm. Going to be forcing out the PF109. The m 3 ones do finally make their way forward, but that one is going to go down to the Stug, likely. And this one's not uh, gone far enough to surrender the Schutzen. Might actually run out before it gets there. Ooh. Yep, does manage to get the surrender there. Now it's going to be gunning for that MG42, but it does get surrounded. So no surrenders for the time being. T26. Ooh. Might be actually relatively dangerous here. Uh, of course, the T26 doesn't want to take an engagement with D34, but these Tessanko Govies, if they try to come in on this uh, sideline, so that T26 is going to be able to deal with them very well. This 3 looks like it's uh, trying to get some HE damage, but Hamuyan is in a dangerous position here. And he has managed to push him off the hill. And that is a very dangerous position to be in. Shumshutsen. Going to get a target on that Zis 3. Are gonna get pinned down by the Maxim though. But T26 moving forward. Panzer Strike still in position here, so these C34s are gonna have to do a lot of work. And with the Panzer Strike there, ooh, this Panzer Strike. Ooh, doesn't quite manage to get on target. Maybe the fallback came just a second too late, but all these units and all these m 3 ones certainly not something you wanna stick around for too long. Pack 40 coming up on the top here. Also very dangerous. I don't think those Ulzer Kearney are gonna be able to kill that. Schutzen providing the recon. And these two flags have gone into control temporarily to Millimeter's side, so 15 to 10 for a brief moment there. But really, the single Flumwaffe taking, taking control over this flag or something like that would be very dangerous. That's not Kogobi moving for this flag, but versus Stormschützen, if these that's Kogobi get right into the face of these Schützen, and now Millimeter's micro has gotten serious, final of the game and all. So this three goes down. Ooh, Schützen here. Do manage to prevent these Tessan Kogobis from getting in. T-34 does go down to the Stug 3. Now there's really nothing up here to prevent all these units from crushing these out in the open. IL-2 coming in once again for the Stug 3. That might have been what killed it the last time. Uh, Zis-3 is not quite doing the job. Almost got the side shot there, but there is no uh, 
AA up north, and this BF-109 is gonna come in just too late, I think, to provide suppression to kill that, for that Stug. Yeah, Stug does go down. Uh, two gets away with it. Might go down to the R6, but not so far. Dulchitzen versus Old Zucarni there. Pack 40 here, for running fire support under the Desai Kogovi. Oh, this is gonna die. Actually, a waste of an able to have a shot, even, but... What can you say, right? SC-76 coming in, but there's Pack 40 can just outrange the SC-76. This leg's like, gonna go down for now. You'd have to be forced to bring in stuff almost over here and then just sit in these buildings and return fire. Preferably something with AT, so you can't just rush the T-26 or the Stick 3 forward and kill it, right? 14 to 10, though, the Storm Schutzen did get cleared out by the Tango de Saniki, and these Schutzen are, uh, not really gonna want to take that engagement versus the LZ Carney that kind of a range. T-34 doing good work, but this flag is also going going over to, I believe, for the time, or to Millimay for the time being. Storm Schutzen are gonna recover. Not close enough to the M3 for the heat shell, so, pin down, gonna get the surrender there. But the right Pioneer and the Flumvefa coming in. Counter. The T26 also moving in to try and deal with that half track. Let's have to be a little bit careful. The 15 armor versus the uh, 15 penetration on the PTRD. Still can penetrate it. PTRS. Didn't manage to kill anything before getting spotted, it seems. No transport losses there. <laughs> and now we see a Stug moving forward. The Stug had been here five minutes earlier. Or not five minutes, a couple of minutes earlier. And these T34s would be. They're very much in danger, indeed, but as it stands, just covering the open. Not much can be done. All these units have moved forward. Also, Carney as well, going town. Even this flag has gone down. And all these units are just now being pushed forward, having achieved not just a local superiority, but a superiority in general. First flag 43 coming in. Uh, surprising that it isn't going to be put over here. Nice one instead being brought in just to secure this flag. I'm really unlikely choosing not to uh, engage this northern side where, or really may not not choosing to engage this northern side where really Hamuyan has superiority. There we go. But it's looking very very thin on the rest of the map for Hamuyan. These two flags now in firm control of Milame, which is not something you see often. And the Pi 40 is even going to be able to outrange this uh, SU 76 here. IL-2 coming in for the Stug. This Flak 43 might get unloaded just in time to stop it, though. The high rate of fire on the Flak 43. I mentioned it last game, but Flak 43 versus Flak 36. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, he's going to get the fallback on that. Rate of fire really just saving it there. And the BF-109 coming in as well. No AA in the north here, so BF-109 has got a clear shot to it. Never about the 42. Have used up just 5,000 of the 15,000 that the Arsenal munitions gets. This thing can keep firing. For a long time. OB. Shooting at some infantry. Or, I'd right, say so this T26. Not really gonna stand a chance there. Bunch of strike is left back. Ooh, actually, it goes down. Well, I'll bump my words there. Uh, but, now the Storm Schützen. Getting good shots on the Alzo Kearney. They just have to be careful not to get on the 100 meter range of that Destin Kogovi, and then it'll all be over with this Panzer Strike. Ooh, might actually get spotted here. Let's get a single shot off on that T34. Might kill the other one as well. Stoudebaga goes down to the Sturmschützen there. T-34 does run away. Schützen here. Cover disparity. Sarkia games are very good, especially at that kind of a range, but... There's two of them. Also, strike does go down without killing the second T-34, but now there's two Stokes coming in to a single model T-34. And, uh, once again, no AA. So, this is a very precarious position here. Also, kind of do force the Schützen back, but the second Schützen is going to get involved shortly. And, uh, this position also likely going to go down. Flamethrower, plus the Sturmschützen. Going to force those units back, and now with them in the open there, they stand no chance. Yes, I'd be free force. Great Pioneer didn't even have to get involved. It is 59, 12 minutes remaining. We got Pioneer. <laughs> Do manage to, uh, shoot off, shoot at these Elves of Carney there. They still did go down, so... Another one being called in to... Place that. If I'm still not firing, might get a second kill here. Actually, I'm not sure if I killed the other one, but uh, BF 109. Ooh, does get away just in time. T34 coming in as well. Still a pack 40 here. Schutzen are going to get into this building. 
for the Ozocardi. I'm just going to tear them apart in the open with the two on the 42s there. Black 43 has got to be a little bit careful. The T-34 could wreak havoc, but not for long, as these Stug 3s are uh, in position to really delete. Black 43 is also going to help pin down the Strelke AKM. BF-109 as well, coming in for the strafe, just to come in and surrender them, potentially. D-34 moving forward, likely going to be trying to take that on, but a bit too late there. So Peter Rocks do get into position, the uh, okay, Pioneer did fall back here, so this position will likely go back into the favor of uh, Amuyen, but that's potentially one flag there. And the guy Pioneers, all they would have to do is hide back to this medium cover, and then you can't really exert influence over this flag effectively. Well, two coming in, though. Ooh. Oh, wow. Managed to avoid that just in time. But this P-109 is likely too low on ammo to properly kill that IL-2. Coming in from the other direction as well. It's now out. And a single 20mm versus an IL-2. Ooh, Pack 40 does get a turret stuck, or a crit, on that T-34. And he's likely going to kill it as well. Not what you want to see there. Still 15-9 of this flag. He shits and to mesh pin these down. T-34 did go down. Dual Stugs here. Lots of shits in now. Also, Carney are moving up to try and deal with this, but it's like the Storm Shits are still sitting here. They can just blast these Also Carney um, in their transports, and that's really not what you want to see. Flag 41 as well. Just uh, keeping all this at bay. And to the Superior Rocks' credit, they are still relatively good at medium range engagements, but definitely no Big Light Pine or. <laughs> So, we'll have to see how this engagement goes. Pretty good if this shit gets involved as well. Stug coming in, though. Flak 43, another Stug. Hit the FO. Gonna be firing at these, uh, also Carney. They do see him. Slum Shitson. Gonna be pinned down relatively quickly there by the six separate DP machine guns. 18 mm more T70s. Another T34. Surprised to see reinforcements coming in here, but you do have to take this road if you do want to get into this position. This uh, area relatively precarious to the Stug's presence there. The Glide Pioneer Schutzen take out one Spursy Rocks. So with the support of the Stug, gets the second one as well. Schutzen here dancing around this OB, the Pack 40 having uh, run out of ammo a long time ago. Or HE shells at least. Spursy Rocks. If they do make them so way here, but once again, the Sturmschützen, they might have range on one of these transports, and that's uh, really not something you want to see. The Sturmschützen's amazing DPS just kills transports almost like Fashion Mia, right? Oop, looks like the Nib of Alpha. Switching target here. Onto this forest. Okay, guy Brennan here did manage to force back the Bren gun and all these units in here, and now OB and one of the Zis 3s do go down. That is fairly accurate. Not what I would have expected from a neighbor of F-42, but I digress. Nine minutes for a millimeter to turn it back around. We are well in the B phase here. Those are doing quite a good job, and uh, quite honestly, with this road covered off, uh, I don't think these SU-85s are going to get a chance to really duel with these Stugs, even if they would theoretically win. These are both two stars, though. I mean, once again, in the medium cover, Mikulite Pioneers doing their job on the Supersy Rocks there. Ooh. Looks like they're not even spotted for the time being. Are going to miss the first shot. Still get, uh, Pack 40 is out of range, so they are going to engage one-on-one. -on -one. IG-33 coming in, though. Stugs here do manage to take out the T-34. Lots of units here. Going to clear out these Alto Carnies. And these C-70s with their 75 frontal gun don't really stand a chance that these Stugs unless they get real close, and they're uh, not close enough, I would say. <laughs> Is rushing it forward, but faint little I can be done about that. Let's get into these buildings. So it might provide a little thorn on the side when the C-76s come in, but it's really not looking good. Black 43 being moved over here rather than the north here, but... Currently, the Stug 3 is not seen. Gets the pin down anyway on the IL-2 with the crit there. And now we see 150mm come out for this area. By new field, I did manage to provide radio on that, so artillery are going to slowly be breaking down this position here. Just another Gradishka carrier, though. Uh, and the Suppressive Rocks did clear out this flag, so that has, or Hamuyan has given himself an extra 8 minutes or so in this game, if he can just keep it that way, but... Really, a 
storm or something like that, pushing into this flag. Doesn't matter if there's a T-70 there. Uh, they will get a grenade on there. This town is fairly dense. You can just hop from building to building. This flag also going back over into Millimate's favor. When SU-85 did go down, Stokefield is still around. Zavad Connie. Really good unit, but not as good as the Stormschützen. Carrot Spirit, you might save it there, but not with the IG-33 shooting at it. <laughs> That's for sure. Kaboom. IG-33 is also got a nasty heat shell, so this is your favorite. Does have to be careful. Especially with the pack 40 sitting around here. Surround around some of these units. Ooh, these might have been right clicked rather than fire position, so they're firing uh HE. And one of the SU 85s goes down. The Stug is low health, might go down. It does go down. But there's still another one here. And these shits and have managed to get a forward position in here, so just calling a couple more Stugs. Yep, even two more Pack 40s. <laughs> I gotta go right on the edge of this town and prevent all this from happening. The F109 coming in for the out too. Not really needed. SU-85 did get the better of the IG-33 there, but if it was forward even the slightest bit, that is going to be meat for the Pack 40 to deal with, so... Stug-3 did move back. Doesn't want to die to the SU-85. A good choice there. But after the unit here went down, Tushka carry doesn't hold ground, so those flags also gone back. Try off a little bit now even for the uh, 37 millimeter. This Bay New Field was a bit further forward. Would have worked a lot better. Could have gotten a corrected shot on it, but not really needed. As we see the Nimba Varfa firing in once again, potentially to help the Sturmschutz and get into this position here. Immediate fallback there. Looks like he's just kind of forcing back a little bit. Two flag 43s now, force off that auto again. And the Stug here, having almost run out of ammo. <laughs> 109 finally gets a kill. This is going to prevent these Maxims from really getting forward here. Should, should just be able to move up and kind of sit here to secure the flag. Not much of a danger from that. Oop, back here though. Might get the kill on the SU 85, does do it. And they're going to be re aiming for these SU 76s, which is certainly. Not what you want to see. Not one star as well, so. Kind of dangerous there. It does uh, get forced back by the little napalm effect of the HE, so. Not going to be killing anything today. It's forced to fall back, but. I've got another pack for you here. Just firing HE from the looks of it. As the mortar goes down to the BF 109. I wonder what would have spotted that, or if that was just a fire position order. 37 millimeter, falling back. But so far, for me, none of those uh, JU 88s that Sonia Sturm gets are in play. So the expression, maybe not even needed that much. A few more Spursy coming in. It's a good call if you do want to dislodge this position, so. I'm going to follow them for that. No, there's a Kearney coming in through here. There's a Stubschitz moving forward and a T26, though. And still no AA, despite everything. New of FS as well, going for these SU-76s. He's going to pin him down a little bit. And now the Stug might actually get a shot here. Nope, it's firing at the Spursy Rock, so SU-76 does get away, but we see just the amount of... The crazy amount of units that have gone down here. And all around here. Smoking units on the road. These 70s. What a beautiful game sometimes. <laughs> it's crazy. I should finish off the storm shits near. Are gonna kill the piney if you want and re-secure this, but there's no real flag to push for here. The shits should be able to get far enough forward with support by this now sort of this flag 38 to prevent this flag from going over. And one flag really won't make, a, make or break the game at this stage of the game. Three minutes left on the clock. Nothing to look forward to. Black Grenadier of Spursy Rocks. 
Storm system for Sultan Kearney. Yeah, three Stugs up here as well. Yeah, that was back 40. Lots of IL 2s coming in, though. Are finally going to kill this uh, Stug 3. But the SU 76 went down, and the armor won't help you with the pack 40 still being here. Good screening use of the IL 2, but could have been done a long time ago, in my opinion. One more correct shot here, just providing a fledgling amount of annoyance so far. Gifted first, gotta be a little bit careful not to get grenaded. Ooh, SG-76 manages to just barely escape light with its life again. MG-42, gonna get that, uh, M-42. And now Borgat Grenadier and Schutzen in perfect position here to make sure these suppers you don't get, uh, anywhere close to them. Now we're gonna be forced to unload there. We can bring these Stugs right up and just keep firing down this line. Storm Schutzen running forward. Just gonna get pinned down a bit, T-34. But another 88 coming in. 17 to 7 now. Lots of Carney Force to fall back. Two more Schultzen. Stokes firing. Maximum versus two shots in here. I just have to be a little bit careful, but the veteran C might uh, really pay off in that case. Yeah, this road is perfectly under fire from this back 40 here. Man, interesting little tidbit that I'm sure nobody cares about, but the breakthrough side of the map is played from this side. I would love to play it from this side. <laughs> what? 1v1 caster playing breakthrough? What is this, Vulcan? Campaign missions? Because I think you do see it occasionally in the campaign that you fight from this side. Hmm. No matter. Yeah, excellent game from both players here. More IL-2s coming in, but now with the 88 out as well, or, well, soon to be... And they're just excellent 543s. Yeah, I'm not gonna go down there. This. Maxim is pinned down. Shit's gonna come forward. Help kill it, even. IL 2s might actually just go down here straight up from the PF 109. And yeah, at this stage of the game, you can't really afford to lose any of your units that you're expecting to carry you, but. 18 to 6. Minime has outtraded Hamuyan once again. And we'll take the victory in the Season 3 League. Uh, season 8 League, Division 3 of the Simulation League. Uh, or Simulated Division Leagues, whatever you prefer. So yeah. Great little series here. Uh, Melee May kind of, quote unquote, making it interesting with those first couple of games, that's for sure. But, five games played. Hamuyan does surrender there. 1,610 kills to 2,905. So you're still really pulling its weight there. Yeah. Well played to both players. Congratulations on places one and two. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this series. We'll see you next time. I'm not sure if I'm going to cast any more league content, but we do have some great monthlies out with lots of weird divisions. Well, I think also lots of OP divisions, so stick around for that if you don't want to see it. Till then, goodbye.